there's more to the game of golf than just keeping your eye on the ball. Golf is a game of feel, and having an understanding of where your body is in relation to time and space when you play. Probably the most important thing or most influential thing about golf that has shaped my life is the fact that you know, you can hit a bad shot and still play a good hole. You can play a bad hole and still play a good round. And not everything in life is always going to be perfect. This is not just another golf story about a guy who hits them long and straight. Ben Witter is truly one of a kind. So why is someone making the game harder than it already is? Well, when cancer is embedded in your life, your family, and your face, you can afford to bend the rules a bit and do things your own way. <laughs> My first battle with cancer um, came when I was only 20, about 22 and a half years old. I went from believing that I had a very awesome future lined up to, you know, to this. And my attitude just went downhill really, really quickly. And it was then that my mom came in and she said, hey, Ben, you know, you got to figure out your life. And she laid a wedge and a golf ball on the side of my bed. And that's when I began tapping the golf ball up and down. You know, your golf shots are amazing, but your story is unbelievable. I can't believe it healed that quickly. In my life, I've faced many challenges with cancer. I've had salivary cancer of the upper jaw. I've had lung cancer. I've had cancer of the lower jaw, the brain, the spine, the rib cage and the soft tissue surrounding the lung. I mean, I had some doctors that were like, wow, you're, you're basically, you know, stage four, end of the line cancer. I mean, this is it. There's a lot of guys out there who are motivational speakers that have never lived what they talk about. I have literally lived everything that I talk about. There's nothing made up. There's nothing contrived. There's nothing fictional. A lot of people say, why me, Lord? You know, I, I just, you know, so, so why not me? You know, I can, I can take it. There's a saying that goes something like this. God puts on our plate exactly what he knows we can handle. 